The door seal is an integral component of your W&H Lisa sterilizer and regular maintenance is necessary to ensure continued safe operation in line with the Pressure System Regulations Act 2128. Poor maintenance is a common factor when dealing with faults. Prior to undertaking any regular maintenance work to your steriliser, all health and safety, cross-infection and cross-contamination protocols must be followed. Gloves and safety goggles should be worn. The door seal should be replaced at regular intervals of 800 cycles or every 12 months, whichever is sooner. By replacing the door seal, you ensure your steriliser continues to have an hermetic seal, essential for correct operation and minimising cycle failures. The door seal should be cleaned regularly with a damp lint-free cloth as described in your instructions for use. If you notice any imperfections with the door seal, it should be replaced immediately. Your Lisa sterilizer will automatically prompt you when the life of the door seal has expired and needs to be replaced. Alternatively, you may view the number of cycles remaining for the door seal from within the maintenance screen of the menu. There are no special tools required to complete a door seal change. This can be carried out by the operator. Ensure the steriliser is switched off and the power supply is disconnected. Be aware that your Lisa steriliser preheats the sterilisation chamber and that all surfaces in contact with the chamber may be hot. The steriliser should therefore be left to cool until the surfaces are safe to touch. To change the door seal, take hold of the door seal and pull directly away from the door to remove the seal completely. The door seal seat and the chamber face should be cleaned before fitting a new door seal. A damp, lint-free cloth should be used to remove any dirt. Before fitting a new door seal, it should be moistened with water to aid seating it into the correct position. Within the groove of the door seal, there are four markers at the 3, 6, 9 and 12 o'clock positions. These markers will help you to fit the door seal correctly without overstretching it. The markings on the door seal can be matched up with those found on the porthole to aid fitment. Start by pressing the door seal into the seat at the top and bottom, then left and right. The remaining areas of the door seal can now be pressed evenly into place over its entire circumference. It is important to make sure that there are no bumps or deformations when the door seal is fitted. Correct fitting will prevent air leaks during the sterilization cycle. Once your new door seal has been fitted, navigate to the maintenance screen within the menu. From here you can perform a manual reset of the door seal counter. Resetting the counter will ensure that the maintenance reminder automatically reappears after another 800 cycles have been completed. Now navigate back to the cycle selection screen to return your Lisa sterilizer ready for normal operation. Once the new door seal is correctly fitted, it is recommended that a vacuum test and helix test cycle be run before returning the sterilizer to normal use. The successful test results should be recorded in a logbook. Further instructional videos for performing a vacuum test and a helix test can be found on this website. Further information on product maintenance, compliance testing and current national decontamination guidance can be found on this website. For all other inquiries, please click Contact Us or email us at the following address.